was very expensive. Would you do 20 on it? Uh... What's up, guys? <laughs> Saturday morning, the whole family is going to garage sales. The whole family. Yeah. We got Darcy and Sawyer in the back. Mm -hmm. My dad is following behind, and Whitney's mom is following behind him. Yeah. It's it's the whole, what do we call that? The whole fam family. Yeah, whole fam family. Yep. Uh, different cars, because your mom's going somewhere after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're kind of spread out across three cars, but it's a neighborhood garage sale today. Yep. And I'm due for some good luck, because the last few times... You guys have seen. I have not found good stuff. We do also have two birthdays today. So what would be really awesome is if we could find both birthday presents at the garage sales. That's the kind of people we are. Yeah. We're freaking classy. We, we shop so classy. for birthday, Christmas, all the gifts. If we can find them at garage sales, that's great. Yeah. I mean, who, who wouldn't? One of them is for a grandparent, so we might just like have the kids pick out something, anything to give because that's... More appropriate for a grandparent. Life hack. Just have your kids pick out a crappy gift for the grandparents. And they're like, oh, it's so sweet. Oh, it's so it's cute. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about exactly. <laughs> picking something. Because, I mean, grown-ups don't always need gifts. No. Birthdays are for kids. Birthdays are for kids. Yeah. And I don't get coffee today. You're going to get coffee. Just, it's there's not on the way. We're running usually, pretty late. We're running pretty late, guys. We're yeah, he was he was really patient and everything until I asked for coffee. And then cutting he said, no. Out. Cutting it out. This You're not lady. cutting it out. No, it out. I'm in charge here. <laughs> oh, Darcy, look at how sparkly this is. <coughs> what do you think? <coughs> I'm gonna buy your um, tape player too for okay. 10 bucks. So I owe you 19. Look at this to Justine. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank Thanks. you. Darcy, what'd you find? Is that a stable for horses? Yeah, like the little horse. Darcy, there's stuff in here. This is all Harry Potter, I think. Got some fingerlings. How much are your books? Um, they're two dollars each. Two dollars each. If I got seven, would you do ten bucks? Sure. Okay. Hey, Darcy, come give me your foot. Did you get all the Harry Potter? I did. Yeah. Isn't that great? I was like, all right, bud, you're selling them. Okay. Works. Just don't regret the choice. Thank, Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. Yeah. How are you doing this morning? Need four dollars? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so got this little little train thing. Oh, we got a train. Cool. Uh, it's like like a little thing that goes in the circle. It's really big. Oh, awesome. How much is your uh, juicer? I have game. Twenty-five bucks, huh? Would you do 20 on it? Uh, okay. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Make sure you get all the pieces to it. Okay. Okay. everything. Uh, on the book, yeah, they're trying to make a 
for them because Look they... Look at there. Yeah. Yeah, we found a couple boxes and they're in another spot. But and just there's so much. Do all the remotes go to the planes and stuff or are they separate? I, if it was on that, they're, they're, uh, the remotes are separate. Gotcha. Anything on this stand for team bucks? Yeah, that's how he did it for me. Do we pay in there? No, you pay me. Okay. I got two. I'll you 30 bucks. There you go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thanks. So here's what Sawyer got at the garage sales. What, what do we it? pay for this? Um, I think $4. Four bucks? Sawyer, what is this? A game. A train. What Sawyer loves trains. It? Sawyer does love trains. What noise does the train make? Do it and I feel like I finally had a good day with all the stuff that the kids have found and the stuff that I was able to find. Um, so this is gonna go in the playroom. It's a really cool wooden sign. Love this quote. I think one of the kids wanted Operation. I think Sawyer came up and said he wanted that game. Go have fun with that. He also convinced me to get this for 50 cents. Operation was a dollar. They wanted something just at about every sale. But Pretty much every sale. We could talk them into not getting it all. This is my favorite Reds logo. And so um, Darcy will have to grow into it. But this is going to be um, super cute for her. $3 for that. But it's I worth think it. it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> I got this running belt brand new for a dollar. Um, these are good to have on hands for teens that come into our care. Basically like a smaller fanny pack. Sunscreen. I don't know what I paid for this. I hope not too much, but it has like over a year before it expires. Nice. Had to had to snag it. <sighs> bubbles. <laughs> Always need bubbles. Always with the bubbles. Um, dollar fifty. So you like bubbles? Yeah. How much should we get for this? Two. Two dollars. Yeah. Two dollars. London Fog snow boots. These are in really good condition because kids don't wear stuff like this all that much. Yep. They grow out of it. Um, Darcy needs some time before she fits, but had to grab that. I overpaid for this. I paid $5. You thought it was lotion, right? I thought it was lotion. It was body gel or like bath gel. You even put some on your hand after one of the sales and you're like, ah. I'm like, what is this? Total miss. I paid like retail. Cause if I go into the store, I'm not going to buy it unless it's on sale. I probably wouldn't have paid more than five, but here we are. Anyway, you got five. got. I got got. Um, also got uh, these, how much? $2 for a two pack of um, band-aids. I found this necklace and it is super pretty. It's moving, so I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, I, I really liked it. Um, found these J. Crew earrings, which I thought were pretty cool. Those are nice. Um, got this for my sister because she loves Halloween and it's a skull bracelet. I don't know. I, <laughs> Those were $3 were each? $3 each. Dices. I got eyebrow Dices. pen and then I paid um, $2 for this small wand and Harry Potter cultured mug. Anything Harry Potter. Uh, I'll get it. Yeah. I, I found so much stuff. Like yeah, I was you got a lot of stuff. super excited. And then hanging out over here, I meant to put this with my other stuff. I'll show you guys everything that I bought once I get back to the shop. This is a Pure Sleep uh, anti-snoring mouthpiece. I paid five bucks for it, and it's actually selling for about $40. Okay, so Grammy was hitting some of the garage shows with us, and she bought this for Darcy for $5. Darcy has an American Girl doll, and this is a stable for her, her horses. And this is the horse she already had, and this one came with it, right, Darcy? And it came with saddles and brushes. Well, it has some pet things, so I put some of it in there so I needed to use any of it for the horse. Because all of all of the stuff was like a little blank, it wasn't like fully full, so I got some stuff that could all right guys i am back in my shop i pulled out everything that i found at the garage sales and i'm gonna show you what i bought i got this juicer it's called the champion and this thing is heavy duty as soon as i saw it and lifted it up i'm like all right this thing is like commercial grade or something and looked it up and it's got some good value it has all the attachments it is selling around 100 to 150 dollars and i paid 20 dollars for that so that was a home run another potential home run is this harley davidson gas tank this is from 19 86 it's the centennial liberty edition has the original paint and everything she was asking 75 i think i offered 40 and we settled on 50 bucks 
this thing I think is missing some pieces. Like I think there's supposed to be like a cap or something here. Looks like this was, I think she said she got it like an antique store, antique mall, something like that. And it was just kind of made to hang on the wall and look cool. It's got some rust. So whoever buys this might just hang it on the wall. Or if they are going to put it on a motorcycle, then it's going to need a little bit of work. I couldn't find any sold listings on this thing. I saw one active for like 425 bucks. Doesn't mean it's worth that. I'll probably list mine for like 300 or best offer. And if I get 150 bucks, 200 bucks, I think I'd be pretty happy. I got this Sony cassette deck, uh, model TCWE305. I paid 10 bucks for it. I honestly was not, you know, chomping at the bit to buy this thing because a lot of the times these just don't work. Like the pieces inside get corroded and everything and then they don't work. And the top on this one was really scratched up, which is going to hurt the value. I paid 10 bucks for it. And if they're working, they sell around 50 to 60 bucks. I bought all seven Harry Potter books on hardback. It's super rare that I find them all together. It's usually I find a couple here and there, and then I'm trying to piece together a set. The fact that they had the whole set, I was really excited. I'm trying to remember what I paid. I want to say that, geez, now I can't remember. I want to say she was at like $3 a book or something, which would have came to like $21. And I think I paid $15. I think I paid either $10 or $15. $15 is kind of jumping out to me for some reason. If these have the dust covers, they're selling around like $50 to $60 bucks as the set. None of these have the dust covers, so that's going to hurt the value. I'm going to try to get about $40 bucks for them. I'm not going to get rich on that deal, but should be, you know, pretty easy list. Easy ship. They can go media mail, so it won't cost the buyer a fortune to get it shipped out. Another really cool find were these Futaba remote controls. I believe these are for the... Uh, like airplanes and like boats that that guy had in the garage just really cool stuff they did not have the power cords i guess these things have power cords but i think they also take batteries so i can test them with batteries as soon as i saw them it reminded me of back to the future if you guys remember doc drives the delorean with one of these remote controls and it's actually made by futaba uh, obviously it was in the 80s it's not these exact models but kind of looks like them so that's what I thought of right away when I saw it. This thing is heavy duty. This has got some serious weight to it. Not sure if this takes batteries. I doubt that it does. You can see that it's got the thing for the charge right there. There was one of these that sold for like $300, but I think they had modified it because I've seen some other ones sell for around 200, but this is a cool one. Even like parts alone, I think it could get maybe close to a hundred bucks. This one's not as valuable. Uh, it's going for like 60 bucks if it's working. So I've got a little bit of testing to do with these. I paid $15 each for those. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.